You look quite tired today, Aaron. Are you in um, power save mode? No, not at all, actually. <laughs> quite the opposite. I'm in, uh, I'm in go mode. Hello there, guys. Welcome back into, of course, yet again, another Review Bros review on a pre-workout that some of you wouldn't have heard of, some of you would have done. What is it, Craig? Show them the goods. It's in the form of Secret Society Go Mode X High Stim Pre-Workout. And is it that secretive you've never heard of it? Well, we're going to give you the facts today as we go through those usuals. The taste, the price, the label and the effects. Is it going to be worth you picking up? Is it worth your money? We also put out free Honest Reviews a week, guys. So please do us a massive favour. Subscribe to the channel if you can. Drop a thumbs up on this video and drop any comments below on any thoughts regarding this pre-workout or any pre-workout in general. We do appreciate it. We're going to give this to you 100% honest. Let's get into this one. Is it worth your money? So, first segment of this review, guys, is of course that taste and mixability factor, which of course comes into some relevance when there's so much choice on the market. You know, you've got flavors galore, pre-workouts that are amazing, that also taste good. I don't think in this day and age you need to sacrifice taste as long as it's better than okay. Okay? okay? okay. <laughs> so, this one, unfortunately, at the moment, only comes in the one flavor. And it's quite a risky flavour we've just discussed, isn't it? Yeah, they went with lemon iced tea. So we thought if they're going to do one flavour, you'd, you'd probably play it a bit safer. But, you know, will it pay in their favour or not? The reason we say that particularly is we don't necessarily like iced tea. I don't really know anyone that does. No, is it more of like an American I thing? I think so, than a UK thing. And maybe that's yeah. where we're going wrong. But the lemonade might save it. So there it is, mixed up. Just under a flat scoop gets you that serving amount. 14 point something grams, we'll show you in the label section. I mean, mixability, I've seen better, mm. 100%. I know these are in glasses, but we're consistent with the glasses at least. Yeah. And I've definitely seen better. But it's not horrific. You know the name of the game, guys. Get to the bottom, just do that. So, um, lemonade, iced tea going down. I mean, it's all right, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite light and pleasant. The lemonade's there, isn't it? 100%. Quite a nice lemonade. It's like mixing lemonade and, and iced tea, pretty much. I mean, and that sounds pretty obvious. <laughs> it's like having an iron brew. I half... really didn't expect it to taste like lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> half iron brew, half lemonade. But like a non-fizzy lemonade. That's the difference. It's flat. Oh, I thought it was going to be fizzy and no. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's actually quite nice. Mm. It's more lemon than iced tea for us. I'm getting lemon on the front end, iced tea on the back end. It smells like iced tea. It does. I mean... It does. <laughs> I actually don't mind it. Yeah. I've got a score in mind. It's not bad, is it? Three, two, one. Eight, Eight out, out of ten. ten. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Mm. I mean, I'd like to have seen it in a bomb pop or a sour gummy like their original pre-workout, but or even a fruit flavour rather than iced tea, but... I mean, 8 out of 10 is a good score, isn't it? So yeah, won't struggle. I don't think you'll struggle unless you hate lemonade as well. Yeah, that would be the downside. So, anyway, how much is this going to set you back? Let's down the rest of this, and then we'll get into the price segment. And we're into price and priceability. And to pick this up, you'll head over to secretsocietysups.com where you'll find this 30 serving tub on there for $49.99 or £41.00. 34 ago. Lovely jubbly. That 30 servings, guys, always smashes things out of the park. It's not easy to do these days with the cost of ingredients and all the rest of it. The fact that a lot of the time these scoops are massive. This one only comes in at 14.4 grams, which actually I'd probably say is about average. Um, 30 servings, great. Brings it to actually, if it's UK pounds, would flash the dollars in as well, guys. Of course, only fair being an American product. A pound and 38 pence per go. Very affordable. And that's with no discount codes. If we get our hands on any, we'll throw them in the description, comments below, etc, etc. But I can tell you it comes in on our price and scale at a lovely jubbly 6.5 out of 10. Where a 5 out of 10 is absolutely bang average. So it's actually quite a lot cheaper than an average pre-workout. So 
can only be a thumbs up. We get into the label, get into the effects to see if it's worth that 6.5, if it's overpriced, underpriced, bargain material. Gonna find out. All right, let's get into the label. It's go time. All right, so it's label time. One scoop gets you 14.4 grams. That's just under a flat scoop to achieve that. First up, we have beta alanine at four grams. Good, good dosage, guys. Obviously, 800 milligrams above what we normally see for the beta tingle, the itchy, paraphys, your allergic almost feeling reaction as the pre-workout kicks in. We love it personally. Do you? Comment below. Helps with endurance once you've taken it for a long enough period of time as well. Heck yeah. Then we've got nitrosagene, which is a registered form of inositol stabilized arginine silicate, 1.5 grams. Lovely. Uh, trademarked, as Craig says, but there for the pumps. Nitro oxide production, nutrients, delivery to the muscle cell. It's a really good ingredient, a lot longer lasting in the bloodstream than arginine alone because it's stabilised. We like to see it. Is that, a, is that been swapped out for L-citrulline, the typical? I believe it has. Oh, nice. Will this work in their favour or not? Then we've got L-tyrosine, 1.5 grams. Good dose again. Amino acid responsible for cognition and clarity, aka getting you in the zone and keeping you focused on your training session at hand. Hell yeah. Then we've got agmatine sulfate at a gram. Good dose again. Working with that nitrosagene, agmatine's another pathway of re uh, raising your nitro oxide levels up within the blood, helping with vasodilation, vascularity, nutrient delivery, pumps. Pump time. Then we've got alpha GPC, 500 milligrams. Good. Good dose again. Choline type again. More focus, more clarity. Working with the L-tyrosine there. We'll take it. Then we've got caffeine and hydrous, 325 milligram. A good dosage, guys. Probably about average for today's pre-workout from a caffeine and hydra standpoint. It's your stimulation, it's your energy there. Wakey wakey time. Then we've got VasoDrive AP, 250 milligrams. Really good. Going to work well with the um, nitrosagene, going to work with the agmatine. It's another pathway of raising nitro oxide in the blood, it's giving you more pumps in the gym. Yeah, it's quite nice looking at the pump side of things. Then we've got n phenylethyl dimethylamine citrate, 250 milligrams. AKA Aria Gerensis. Now this one's going to give you really um, good focus and uh, stimulation benefits. It's going to give you some mood elevation. It's just an all-round really good ingredient. We've always had good effects with it and we're hoping for the same there. It's a good dose. Yeah, then we've got Fiabromine, 200 milligrams. AKA the ingredient in chocolate that dogs cannot digest. For us, when we're taking our pre-workout, we want it to be in there for a little bit of stimulation and mood um, elevation benefits. Indeedy, then we've got Zoomexile, which is delayed release caffeine, 100 milligrams, yielding an additional 75 milligrams. Topping the caffeine total content in this, well, not including the fiobromine, a little bit there, um, to 400 milligrams of caffeine. So we're looking at stimulation, a longer lasting um, caffeine bit from this here. Yeah, anti-crash time, hopefully. Then we've got S7, 50 milligrams. You know, one of those ingredients that some people don't like, some do. Ultimately, it's in there for more pumps. Obviously, it can raise nitro oxide uh, levels by as much as 230% in studies, albeit studies probably conducted by the same people that make S7, but <laughs> we'll take it anyway. Hopefully, a bit more pump. Nice. Then we've got your Himbine HDL, 2 milligrams. Fat burner with um, energy properties as well. Nice, not to be confused with alpha your Himbine, which is the horrible one. Then we wrap off with Fluperzine A, 1%, 300 milligrams, Dumped. yielding third. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> not, not focused yet. It's good uh, that one's dubbed the learning chemical. It really gives you um, in the zone focus, clarity, coordination, concentration, clarity, all of the C's. Nice, except the naughty C word. <laughs> We've got no digestive aid here, guys. We'll not hold it back. No, I like the label. I do. I do like the label. Um, is it, well, picking, always picking uh, at holes sometimes we have to here. Would I class it as high stim? I'm not sure. I mean, it is higher stim than their regular pre-workout. Some people will class 400 milligrams as higher stim. Of course they will, with Aria in there. I'm excited for the effects personally, are you? Yeah, I am. It seems like it'll be a strong daily, like somewhere between daily and um, high stim, right? Yeah, definitely. And what I also want to say is, despite the lack of L-citrulline, pumps look good, focus looks good, energy looks good. So it looks like it's going to be an all-rounder. But of course, we are jumping the gun here as we move into the true world effects. We're there. We have arrived at the final destination, guys. Of course, most important section of this review, the effects of this product in the real world, in training, in the gym, killing weights, doing whatever you guys do in terms of training. It's gonna hopefully get you to your destination. Let's start at the beginning, beta alanine. Yeah, so it's in there at four grams, you know, a really high dose. We only normally look for 3.2, so we'll take that. And it kicks in really strong. So we're saying like eight out of 10 on the tingle scale. So it certainly does live up to that name in the sense of getting you going because it gets that sense of urgency. It does. We love it. You know, if you don't like beta alanine, it's, it's one of them, isn't it? It gives us that sense of urgency. Let's us know it's time. It is time to kick shit down. Now, in terms of what comes in next, I would say an, a real nice, wave of energy, mm. like really nice, quite strong. And in fact, talking energy overall, 
it's actually stronger than we personally thought it would be based on the label. And I think there's a couple of reasons why. Tell them about the Firmogenic style. Yeah, there is definitely a Firmogenic feel, and we can only assume that it's got to be the Himbine HCL, and obviously maybe the caffeine and fiobromine to a degree. But yeah, you get a nice sweat on on this. You you might even think it's more of a fat burner type pre if you didn't look at the label, right? No, definitely. So today, for example, I've used this one four or five times because I actually really like this product. Before uh, starting legs, we, we typically get on the bike for five minutes. We were sweating on that, like mm. quite a lot. And we don't go hard on that at all. That's just to warm the joints up, really. Heart rate and, you know, RPM and whatnot. It's quite slow, quite low on the heart rate, quite slow on the bike just to get things moving. But it builds up a sweat. And in that, I also noticed um, an insulin sensitivity standpoint. And what do I mean by that? I don't normally typically notice it from pre-workouts, but this one, each and every time I have, where I feel shaky at the start of the training session, like my glycogen levels have been just depleted. depleted. Like your blood sugar's really low. You know, when you, as if you was training fasted. It mm. feels like it takes everything out and, and turns that into an instantaneous form of energy. Because you feel quite energized. You feel quite like Like an alert. adrenaline feeling, yeah. would you say? Yeah. Like adrenaline rush like um you do definitely get the shakes i've noticed it and i don't know what really it, unless that your him binds a very good source of hcl where it just depletes your sugar you know metabolizes fat cells for an instantaneous form of energy but that's where it comes in feeling quite strong energy is i'm going to say the best point of this product at least at least a nine out of ten you know, it's not got any illicits in it. And what do I mean? DMHA, DMA, AMP, citrate, N-methyltyramine, Africaglia, any, anything like that, juglans, it's not got any of that in it. And that's where some people would argue it's not high stim. But, like I said, it feels more high stim than it is. It doesn't come with any euphoria or highness, does it? No, it doesn't. Obviously, the Aria Gerensis gives you that nice backbone of mood elevation and drive, so it's nice to see that in there. But yeah, the energy, like Aaron said, is definitely, without a doubt, the standout feature. And coming just behind that is that focus. You do feel the productive, dialed-in sort of feeling. Like Aaron said, no illicit off your bonds feeling with this one. So having said that, we have said the energy levels and the focus sort of would fall into a strong daily driver, but not quite pushing into high stim you know, stim junkie. Yeah, around. it's it's on the edge, isn't it, of mm. daily driver and um, stim junkie. It's it's in between the boundaries of the two in terms of realm. Yeah, you know, all of that. Yeah, so you could you could argue the beginners could give it a go if they want to step up, and stim junkies could also give it a go for something of more of a regular use pre. Yeah, definitely. Uh Savage pumps in the gym and the bedroom. Wolf pump. Um, it's a super solid pre workout. Um, pumps. Despite the label, I thought they'd be the um, the best point. Okay, yeah. okay, no l citrulline, and a lot of people are going to be like, "Well, it needed that." Perhaps it did, but actually, the pumps were solid on it as well. Yeah. Not not out of this world. Eight out of ten. No, and I don't think anyone would necessarily buy this for pumps with the name, you know, high stim pre workout. But it's nice to see that you're still getting them with the product. And that's where the fourteen point four grams is. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say a low do, a low weight. I'd say that's probably about average for today's pre workouts. But you can see where the L citrulline had that have been there at at five six whatever grammage that would have chucked it up to the twenty gram range. Mm. So you can see why they've gone with the nitrosogene route, agmatine at that dose, and the S seven. But the pumps, yeah, they're good. They are good, but they're not they're not right home about it, sort of right to the parents about it, how no, good it was. exactly. And I think also just touching on that lower scoop or average scoop size means we get a 30 serving tub. Because obviously if it was 20, 21 grams, you know, you normally see 20 to 25 maximum serving. So that's the sort of positive to that realm. Definitely. And if we get a discount code or you use that 15, there's a 15% like pop-up banner that pops up on the website. You probably have to subscribe to the email. Um, you know, just what we do, we'd sub for the five seconds and as soon as an email comes through, unsub. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Uh, if you want to. Sorry, Secret Society subs for that tip. But, yeah. but you get the gist. You can get 
And even at that baseline price with no discount code, I would say this pre-workout is 100% worth that price point, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, big time, yeah. It's, it's ticking all the boxes you want. You got your energy, you got your focus, you got your pumps, you got your endurance, and a bit of a fat burning type feel to boot, and no negatives. No, you feel starving after training. Yeah. I am ravenous right yeah. now. Um, I think that's because of that blood sugar level drop, mm. that glycogen gone. It definitely feels like that, it really does. Um, no nausea, no stomach issues, no crash, the yahimbine, there's no cold sweats, negatives, dribble, fever-like feeling. It's a solid pre-workout, and I'd be honestly happy to give it between a nine and a 9.5 out of 10 for an overall performance pre-workout. Yeah, I'd be happy to round up to that 9.5 on the basis there's no negatives either. No, what's it missing? Why is it not 10 out of 10? Be we're nitpicking. And it's a strength or a weakness, depending on what you're looking for. High stim for us means one of those elicits in there. DMHA, highness, euphoria, mood elevation, mm. potentially some of that. Perhaps a little sprinkling more of pump. Yeah. But honestly, guys, super solid, super solid. Considering it's an unknown pre-workout, and no offence to Secret Society Such, so before they reached out to us, never heard of it. So obviously they're doing a good job at being secretive. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a very good product. It is. It is. It's it's really hard to pick it. To it's be got honest. a nice feel to the tub as well. Marketing looks good. Website looks decent. Price is very good. The flavour, you know, hopefully they come out with another one. It's not shocking. Eight out of ten. It's just it ticks a hell of a lot of boxes for the price point. Mm. And if we get a discount code, like you said, the 15% thing, you're absolutely laughing. Yeah, you really are laughing because that would push the price point up to like probably like a, a seven and a half, eight out of 10. You would be silly not to get it. Yeah, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be happy to use this sort of like three, four, five times a week. And I think we'll still use it after this review, won't we? Really? Yeah, for people who want a slightly weaker edition, just do 12 grams of the substance. Yeah, exactly. And it is, it's, uh, it's all relative. So it's a high stim pre-workout that's got no elicits in it. So it's high stim if you're doing an all above board jobby, right? Yeah, absolutely. Really good. Nine and a half, guys. Nine and a half. Like, I like it a lot. And I would use it again in the future, 100%. And that's why I've used it, like like I say, four or five times at least. And Beater Allen is so good. So, yeah, I think that sums it up, guys. I would recommend it. I really would. Um, yeah, appreciate you guys watching at home. Well done, Secret Society Subs. We've got their regular version of pre-workout to review as well down the line. So we'll get that done. Yeah, thank you so much. So, um, yeah. Appreciate you guys watching it from home. It's at this stage we say it, don't we? As always, stay stimmed. Go mode time.